Hi guys, today I'm going to be trying out the brand new Victoria Beckham Beauty. These are the eyewear. These are described as long wear, crease proof eyeshadow sticks. There are seven shades and I picked up six of them. The only one that I didn't pick up was, it was a yellow one and that one is called Sunflower which is a matte and described as a mustard yellow. It's one that I didn't think I would reach for very much. So they come in the usual Victoria Beckham packaging which is very chic and very minimalist. These eyeshadow sticks have 1.6 grams of product. They are made in Italy and they have a shelf life of 18 months from date of opening. Under my foundation today I do have the Victoria Beckham Beauty Primer in the original which was gifted to me from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I also have on their blush and lipstick and lip gloss as well. But everything that I've got on my face including these shadow sticks, these will be listed and linked in the description box below. On the Victoria Beckham Beauty website it says that these eyeshadow sticks, they are buildable colour in a supremely creamy formula. They set for ultra long wear, crease proof, fade proof wear for up to 8 hours. No base, brush or touch ups are required and they are infused with clean ingredients for eye calming comfort, soothing seaweed oil and there's also collagen boosting ingredients as well. She says that these were inspired by her fashion house and they are an extension of the fashion palette. Eyewear is a modern capsule collection of sophisticated mattes and shimmering veils that build seamlessly, creating sophisticated drama for day, extra decadence for night. No stylist or makeup artist is needed. She does say on her website that one important tip is to do one eye at a time as you have around 20 to 30 seconds to play with the formula before it sets and doesn't budge for hours. And that would be very similar to the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow sticks that I've used. You don't really have to panic with them and I imagine these are going to be the same but you do have to work fairly quickly and with the Bobbi Brown ones I do one eye at a time and then move to the other eye. You don't want to put a little bit on one eye, a little bit on the other and start playing around that way because they will set down just too quickly and you won't have time to blend them out. So let's take a look at what these eyewears look like. So the packaging is very sleek. It doesn't have the tortoiseshell pattern on it like some of the other products in her collection. They feel slightly weighty. They feel really lovely in the hand. Very typical of her products. Just really, really luxurious. And then you just take off the lid. It just pulls off and then you can twist up the product and twist it back down again. So I'll show you this one close up. This is the shade Oyster. And now I'm going to swatch all six shades that I picked up on the back of my hand to show you what they are like. I'm going to do two or three looks using these eyeshadow sticks. First of all I'll do a look, a separate look on each eye and then I'll do a third and final look but first I'll just swatch them on the back of my hand. I picked up a mixture. I've got some mattes and some of the shimmers as well. So this one is Oyster and this is a shimmery pearl. Next is Caramel and that is a shimmery bronze. And next is Bottle Green, and that's a shimmery deep, that's a khaki green. Next is Trench, and that's a matte beige. And then we have Pekin, that is a matte deep brown. And lastly is Macaron, and that one is a matte lilac. So when I swatched these on the back of my hand, they did feel buttery smooth. When I put them on today, initially I'm just going to apply them with my fingers because that is the simplicity of them and that's how she describes it on the website as well. I do have brushes to apply these with but I want to show you how they apply with my fingers. So I think with the first two eye looks I'll just use my fingers 
and maybe I'll see how it goes using my fingers but for my third and final look I'll probably use a brush as well. Also to note on the packaging of these is that on each one there is a small coloured band around each one and that shows what colour the shade is as well. So first of all I'm going to do my left eye and I'm going to start off with the green one. This is the shade Bottle Green and this is described as a shimmery deep khaki green. So I'm going to put this in the outer corner. Now I will try, as I was saying, to use my fingers to blend it and see how that goes. So I'm just going to blend it out. It seems to be blending quite easily using my fingers. These are very creamy and they go on very smooth. There's no, doesn't feel like there's any tugging on my eyelid at all. So I just want to add a little bit more depth there. And then I'm just going to add just some up here. So it feels a bit odd. <laughs> put it on my eye makeup, especially in the outer corner using my finger, but it's actually doing a really nice job. It doesn't look patchy or anything like that. It actually looks really, really nice. And over the rest of my eyelid, I think I will put on the shade Caramel, and this is a shimmery bronze. So I'm just going to Put that over the rest of my lid and place it where I normally would also just up through here a bit as well. So with these if you want quite a lot of pigment you can get it and they also blend out as well. This bit's a little bit tricky doing it with my finger but it's actually working out really well and I think it actually looks really really nice. And then I'm just going to take the same shade and normally what I would do is get a brush and just wipe it along the top and do my lower lash line. But I'll try and do it just with the stick and see how that goes. Let's go fairly gently. I thought it might place down or be too thick and place a really thick line but it's not. So these can be used without having to resort to a brush. And these have that really beautiful shimmer in them. It's not too much. I think it is really subtle and looks really pretty. I'm just going to go back to the bottle green shade again. And I just want to place just a little bit of this on my lower lash line as well. So this is the bottle green. Just to give a little bit of depth through there. And then I'm going to take, still doing the first eye look, this is the shade Oyster and I'm going to put a little bit of this in, in a corner and just in here just to add a little bit of highlight. And I'll just blend that out just a little bit here. Okay, well that is a really simple eye look to do and I think it looks really lovely. There's no, no patchiness whatsoever and this has, it has dried down now so that's no surprise. She did say on her website that you need about, well, only get about 20, 30 seconds but I want to add more depth in the outer corner so I'm just going back to bottle green and I'm just going to go over the top so it'll be interesting to see how it layers since the first one I put down has already dried. I just want to get it a little bit darker just in there and just blend that out. Okay well you can pop some on the top if you want a little bit of extra depth. That seemed to work quite well and it isn't lifting the shadow that had already dried down. I think these look really, really lovely. I love the way that they blend out without having to use a brush. They're definitely user-friendly 
and they are super creamy how she describes them on the website and they blend out really beautifully as well so now I'm going to do the other eye and I'm going to use the matte shade this is the deep brown this is the one pecan so I'm going to start on the outer corner again and just place some there and just a little bit there as well and just blend it out And then I'm going to take that same shade and I'm going to run this under my lower lash line. I love it how I can use these on my lower lash line without resorting to some other brush, like a smaller brush. The line isn't too thick and I think it looks really, really good. Now I'm going to go to the beige shade and that was the colour Trench. So this one on the outer corner, that is a matte, and Trench is a matte shade as well. So I'm going to put this over the rest of my lid. And just add a little bit of lightness. And... I'm just going to put a little bit of that through here just to add a little bit of lightness through here as well and that is look number two done really really simple gosh they blend out so easily I really like these matte shades I think they are beautiful I thought that they may go a little bit patchy but they don't I think it looks really beautiful what a simple quick look and it looks really really lovely and the shimmer on the side looks really really gorgeous as well so I really want to use this lilac shade but I think I'll do that for my third and final look when I do the same look on both eyes so I'll just show you again what these look like I think really really beautiful so the only other thing is whether they last the eight hours like she says they will but considering that they dry down exactly how she described on the website between 20 and 30 seconds I imagine these are going to be really long lasting as well this is a first impression for me but what I will do is I'll be wearing these probably for at least 12 hours today so I will pin a comment down below and let you know how they wore so now I'm just gonna wipe this off and we'll do the third and final look so that took quite a bit of wiping off I've just put on a little bit of foundation the excess that I had on my brush from when I first put it on and I just put on a little bit of concealer again where I just had to wipe under my eyes so I think for the third and final look like I said I really want to try out this lilac shade it's either going to be probably too much for me or it could end up being a really pretty colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the caramel shade and this is the shimmery bronze. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner. And I'm just going to dot it there. And so it's through the crease and just above as well I was going to use a brush I might for the other eye just to show you how it works with that but I'm pretty happy with how this works just using just using my finger and I'm going to run this shade on my lower lash line as well and then I'm going to take this really pretty lilac shade well I hope that it's going to be pretty once it's on and this is matte and this is the shade that she calls macaron it's fairly pigmented this one so I've just lightly just lightly gone on my lid I'll put a little bit more on and then just just build that through this is actually this is a really really pretty shade this one and I think this would also go really beautiful with that deep brown the matte one as well I think it would, that would look really really lovely 
but it's really pretty with the bronze as well. So again, just a really simple eye look. Now I'm also going to put some of the shade just through here. And then going back to the caramel one, and this time I'm going to do the other eye and use a brush and see how it goes with that. I'll put some on the brush. Okay, it blends beautifully with a brush, but if you like using your finger, as you can see, that is a really simple way to do it as well. So it really works beautifully either way. And then I'm going to put this shade on my lower lash line. So I'm using a BK Beauty brush to do this, and this is the number. This is 204. And just pop it on my lower lash line. So you can see how easily these go on. There is no tugging and because I have mature skin around my eyes, my skin can move a lot if you find that a product tugs a bit, but not at all. It is really, really creamy and it is going on beautifully with the brush, but you can put them on using your fingers as well. It's entirely up to you. So sticking with the brush and going back to the lilac shade, this is the one Macaron. So this time I'll just pop it on the lid. And then I'm just going to take the brush, I'm just going to wipe it down. And then just blend it out. Now because these are so creamy, they blend out really, really beautifully. And you can see there is... There's no patchiness. Then go back to the BK Beauty brush. I have wiped it down on the microfiber cloth in front of me. And just put a little bit of this shade just through here like I did with the other eye. And then once again, I just want to see how this builds using a brush. So just wiping down the brush again. And I'm just going back into the shade Caramel. And I just want to pop some on top and just see if I can build it using a brush. So I just sort of tap it on just to get a little bit of extra depth. And it actually works really, really well. Just like when I did it with my fingers, it doesn't lift the shadow underneath. I thought that might happen because by the time I've gone on with the second layer, the first one has dried down so you can add extra depth and I just think by tapping I wouldn't be too aggressive with it but by tapping you can definitely add intensity to the shadow and then finally maybe just to give some lightness just to the very inner corner I'll go back to that shade oyster and I will take the brush, I think I'll use a Raffa brush, and it's the Raffa number 03. And I'm just going to put some in the very inner corner. So now I'm just going to add some eyeliner and mascara, and then I'll be back. So I think that the final look with the mascara on now, and I just used a little bit of eyeliner, and basically I just tight lined and a little bit on the lower lash line as well. And the mascara is the Victoria Beckham one. And I think the look is really, really lovely. These go on so easily. They went on easily using my fingers and they go on really lovely using a brush as well. They definitely do dry down, like she says, on the website between 20 and 30 seconds. But if you just do one eye at a time and just the one shade at the time, there's no need to panic. I think that they blend out really, really beautifully. And there's a whole lot of different combinations you can do as well. I love this lilac color. I think it is really pretty and such a gorgeous spring color as well. The real test with these will be, do they last at least eight hours? 
I'm going to be wearing them at least 12 hours today and do they crease. I have oily skin, I also have oily eyelids and for the first time in I don't know how long I haven't used an eyeshadow primer either. So that'll be a true test to see how these last. But like I said before I will put a comment once this video goes up and let you know how they lasted. Now I was talking about the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow sticks. They are long wear ones as well and they don't budge. From applying the Victoria Beckham and having used the Bobbi Brown quite a few times I do think that these, the Victoria Beckham ones, probably go on a little bit smoother and I think they blend out a little bit easier as well. The Bobbi Brown ones are really lovely and they are simple to use as well. They also dry down really quick. But I do think that these ones are just smoother and they are great, especially for mature skin. You've got loose skin on the eyelids and underneath here as well. And there's none of that tugging or pulling. I just think the formula is really, really gorgeous. I'm really thrilled that I picked up all of these six shades, but I am glad that I didn't pick up the sunflower one. But if you love yellow as an eyeshadow, then I wouldn't hesitate in picking that up. I think you would really love it. I think that's in the matte formula as well, the yellow one. And the matte as well as the shimmer, both blended equally well. I think they are really, really gorgeous. So my first impression from using these eyeshadow sticks is that they are super easy to use. They're great if you want to do a quick eye look. You could add initially even more pigment to build up that colour, but I have blended mine out a bit, and I think it's great that they do blend out as well. It gives a really, really beautiful eye look, but absolutely thrilled with them. I think it's a really, really lovely product. So that's it for today's video. I'd love it if you gave it a like and subscribed, and I will see you next time. Bye.